What did you make of that today? Uh, pleasing. Um, difficult at times because I thought um, the atmosphere kind of went up and down uh, within the stadium uh, and our play kind of reflected that. But when we put our foot on the ball and shifted it and, and were brave, the, the footballers on the pitch showed, showed their quality and I was pleased for them that we, we managed to go and put a difficult opponent away with, with some good goals and, and uh, a real clinical nature. Do you feel that the team got back to what they were good at today? I do. Um, I've, I've just said that I think they stood up at the right times, but they shifted the ball really well. And I, I think we're best when we move the ball quickly, when we play between lines and we penetrate. And when you look at the strength of the team, the strength of the team has been creating chances. And, and we, look, we look to get those people into difficult positions to play against. And I thought we managed to do that better today, albeit it's not perfect because I always look for perfection. But getting a clean sheet was important as well. Uh, I thought Ross did well when he came on. Bruno was an uh, excellent professional. Uh, reacting to not playing but he came on and, uh, and put in sterling service so I'm pleased for the players I'm pleased for those guys that came in off the bench as well um, and I'm pleased for us to get back to winning ways You started Kenny Miller he certainly repaid you didn't he? Well, that's not about repaying me Kenny's a good player Kenny trains well all the time he takes care of himself really well uh, it's just about making sure we pick the right team for the right challenge and I thought that the mix wasn't quite right at, at half time we had to change a little bit of structure and go 4-1-4-1 because we were allowing too much space in the middle of the pitch but once we figured that out and sorted that out um, I, I thought that our football was really good what do you think of daniel candy yesterday a very impressive man of the match display well I, I actually said to him at half time that the ball's on the opposite side he's spending too much time lingering out on the wing when the ball goes into the final third on the left hand side jamie or declan have got it he has to get into the middle of the goal he has to get in between the sticks and, and there was one in the first half where it came back off the post he would have had a tap in um, and it, it showed in the second half he went and got a goal and uh, he gave me a cheeky grin so I, i'll take credit for that one what was your opinion on the late penalty shout for alfredo morales um i've, I've yet to see a a, a player dive when there's contact made. So, so there's contact made, it's unfortunate for the goalkeeper, we wish him well, but it's a, it's a ridiculous decision in my opinion. Um, I get into trouble, there's a guy st sitting about six rows behind me telling me to grow a pair and get onto the pitch and tell the referee exactly what I think, but all I'm going to do is get myself into trouble. We'll have words behind closed doors. Um, all I'm going to do here is, is conduct myself as I believe a Rangers manager should on the sideline. But when we get in and chat to them, we'll put our views forward in a forthright manner and leave him in no doubt that we disagree with it in the strongest possible terms. And Alfredo's gutted in there because mm -hmm. we're going to miss him for a game now. We're going to lose him for a game. Um, and I, I thought it was nothing less than a joke. Injuries to Greg Doherty and Russ McCrory, are they OK? Um, Greg was complaining of being feeling a little bit sick at half-time. Uh, and, and Ross had the beginnings of cramp and medical advice said we, we shouldn't risk them and I, I bow down to that because the welfare of the player comes at the, first, at the, at the forefront of our thoughts um, but I've got no doubt the guys who are going to go in are going to do a good job Andy Halliday's trained particularly well all week Bruno is the consummate professional as you see um, and I was really pleased for those guys coming into the game they managed to have a positive impact and uh, I thought Andy in particular helped to dictate and control the tempo